It's time for our audience comment portion of the show. We provide our live studio audience with cards to write questions and comments. They send them forward, and this is where we read them aloud now. Our first card is from Jim. Jim asks, do you guys have any CDs out? Well, Jim, we don't have any of our music on CD yet. Back in 1973, I signed an exclusive contract with Sony to produce all of the Opry's music on 8-track tapes. Our contract has a rider on it that states Sony will upgrade to new technology when the demand for our music exceeds Sony's capacity to produce 8-track tapes. That hasn't been a problem yet. Although the 8-track tapes have been a blessing in a couple of ways, being practically the only source for current 8-track tapes, we are popular with antique car shows and museums. And bootlegging hasn't been a real problem either. When you find our music in the bargain bin at the dollar store, you can be pretty sure it's the real deal. Next card is from Jesse. Jesse writes, Love the show. Is the jug band available for birthday parties and bar mitzvahs? Oh, it's your lucky day, Jesse. The jug band loves birthday parties and bar mitzvahs. They adore any bars except prison bars. <laughs> Book the boys. Call 1-800-555-0000 and choose option 7 from the m menu. George just sent up this next card. I just love the Opry. The music is like angels from heaven. Y'all are such wonderful dancers. Are you classically trained? Well, Georgia, you could say I was family trained. You see, with 17 brothers and sisters, my parents tried to cut costs wherever they could. Shoes were one thing we could make last. If you brought your shoes a couple of sizes too large, they still might fit after two or three years. Pappy was both a bearing and a marrying preacher, so we kids could sometimes pick up pocket money by helping out at funerals. This meant we had to wear our shoes. The rest of the time we went barefoot. So we'd just stuff newspapers into the toes until we grew into our shoes. We sort of developed a kind of hippity hop type of gait when we were carrying things just to keep our shoes on. And when we boys filled in as pallbearers, why, we'd be singing the hymns, carrying the coffin with our strange hippity hop gait. That's where our Opry style of dancing came from, trying to keep our shoes on. While our kids were growing up, they all had several pairs of shoes, and then they wore them year-round. We no longer had kids trying to keep their shoes on, and our Opry style of dancing began to die out. So 20 years ago, me and some of the other Opry performers started a school to preserve our heritage. Dance Like an Opry Star Academy has been training Opry style dancing to thousands of artists in the past 20 years. It, Mr. Director, do we have any video of the Academy? We do. Okay, folks, uh, we do have a video of me teaching a class at the summer school camp last year. Let's roll the video.